What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another ladder battle. This is gonna be kind of a wacky cast here guys. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. I found some really strange replay that I just felt like it would be fun to cast. I'm not sure if I'm even gonna put this one out or not. It remains to be seen whether this will even be worthwhile, but we've got Sock here in the top right hand corner. He is playing off race versus Promise down here in the bottom left, who's a Protoss player. He's playing off race as well. We are on Troy, one of the weirdest, wackiest maps you've ever seen in your life. And I think we just saw a canceled gateway at the front. So I think this is already off to quite a strange start here. We're going to see Sock getting in, poking at the drones here, trying to prevent this hatcher from going down. He doesn't, is not able to stop that from coming down. And I don't even know what kind of wall-in we're seeing here, man. I don't know why he canceled this gateway. What the heck is ha even happening right now? But two pairs of links are going to come up here. He will start the cannon before those links pop, hopefully. As long as he does that, he should be able to get them down in time. Should be able to have that cannon down in time. I think it will be done in time. No problem here. It is cross map, so... It's not going to get away with a little bit of greed here at the beginning. <laughs> Again, I have no idea why he canceled this gateway, man. That was very, very strange. But he's going to have just a regular Forge Fast Expand opener here. With a single cannon and a gateway now following that up. Gas should be started here in the main in just a moment. And we'll probably end up seeing a pretty regular game out of him. I wonder what he's going to go for here, though. What does the Terran player think is best way to play pvz on troy of all maps i am really curious to see what he'll end up doing now promise is taking the base that i actually like to take on this map the other natural so i've seen a lot of players recently we've seen it on the channel they like to go ahead and take uh, another main base and then kill the gases and then just defend in one location but i actually prefer this i like to sunken up this area here take another base and go to four base really really quick into hive i feel like that's the right way to play or it's a really great way to play on this map and you can run around with lings and kill extractors and stuff and just make it hard for the protoss to take more bases you can go for a bunch of mutas and fly around the map and do a bunch of harassment and stuff i mean there's a lot of things that you can do from this position so I kind of like going for that uh, quick four, uh, quick quick three into four bases here with that natural. We'll see if that's the plan here for Promise. Will he be doing that? Will he be trying to Hydra Bust? It's just not a very good map for Hydra Bust, I feel. Hydra Bust is just really hard to pull off on this map. You can do it if your opponent gets greedy, but it just doesn't feel very nice. Now, we've got a very nice placement here on that Cyber Core. How did he figure out that? placement there i haven't even seen that on the ladder i haven't seen any protoss players go for that but that seems like perfect right because links otherwise can run through here now there's only one path for links to run through and the cyber nice score is very very well defended in that position it's not like you're gonna have that get sniped or anything so i like it i like it a lot I think that if you're playing on this map, you should definitely look into that. If you're a Protoss player, would save you from a lot of unnecessary deaths due to runbys. Lings are on the map, just kind of clearing things out. The two Zealots did go out for a bit, but they came back home pretty soon afterwards. It's not like he's committing to, you know, two gateways in the natural or anything like that. He's just got a Stargate here. He's going to get a Corsair out. And we're going to have a macro hatchers coming here for Promise now. Promise is going to go ahead and get some Hydras out here. I don't see a Spire. Now, one problem with doing this type of style is if you don't have a Spire, you can get really badly abused by drops in the top, uh, in, in the main bases. There's so much area to cover. It's going to be very tough to prevent your opponent from dropping into, into finding one place, finding one location where you're not quite defending well enough and just abusing the heck out of it. 
so I would always want to go for a spire but looks like promise here instead going to opt for that hydralis tech may end up losing some overlords here unfortunately one is for sure gonna go down but he loses some hp on his corsair lings kind of poking here at the front but aren't able to find anything just yet and we do have that shuttle right away shuttle coming up here and no plus one upgrade coming so i think we're gonna have uh reaver reaver corsair play is gonna be coming out here and i hate to see it man this is something that i've seen a lot on this map and it is super annoying to deal with overlord's gonna pop out here in this third base and there's only one hydra here defending Oh, this is a big mistake from Promise, man. You can't be letting just one Overlord pop at a time. With one Hydralist defending. There we go. Finally, Hydra's going to come out here. That's a pretty good amount of damage to start things off. Remember, we're going for... On uh, this play, we're going for the Shuttle Reaver Corsair play. So... Getting that early damage is really essential. You want to slow down the Zerg as much as possible so that this first big attack, the first big Reaver play, is going to work out well for you. And he's already preparing for that with the double robotics uh, facility here. Now, on this map, what I've found playing against Protoss players here who like to go for this type of style landing right here and just taking control of the main like you bring some zealots and stuff with your drop you drop some zealots and you drop reavers right here running through this area with hydras is so tough guys it is so hard to get hydras through there when the reavers are firing so that is going to be a very scary attack even here as well if you drop here Man, it certainly does suck. Here is good, too. Drop behind the mineral patches. It's really hard to dislodge the uh, Protoss player from that location. But, like, right here, if the first drop comes in and it lands right here, guys, I think it's going to be GG. It's so hard. It's so hard to deal with. Here comes that first shuttle. Slowly moving out on the map here. It's not going around that direction as I had expected. Burrow is done here. Burrow is ready ventral sax is coming drop is on the way right now for promise and things are about to get uh, they're about to heat up here he's gonna come into the main base i think that promise may be aware of this he does he sees it he's coming in he's gonna be able to push away the shuttle very nicely done preventing that first drop from coming but now we have shuttle speed shuttle speed is a big part of this composition two zealots shuttle speed He's going to be able to whip around the map now. It's going to be so hard to track down those shuttles. And I hope that uh, for Sock's sake, he's actually going to head over to towards the main base shortly. We've got Scarab damage on the way here and a Fleet Beacon. So he can continue the upgrades for the Corsairs. And of course, he can get Disruption Web. Disruption Web going to be really, really strong here. I mean, I was telling you guys just a moment ago about putting your Reavers here and blocking this entrance. Oh, the Burrow! The Burrow play! He's going to be able to get the shuttle? No, he's not able to get the shuttle. He will pick off the shuttle after it picks up a Reaver as well. So, picking off a first Reaver. Very nice job there from Promise. Having those Burrowed Hydras ready and waiting for this first drop. Shutting that down pretty darn well here. This is going to be really hard to get damage now. And Sock is actually losing some of these Corsairs, or at least taking a lot of damage on them. The, the, the Burrow play has been really, really good. By Promise. And do we have another dropship? We, yes, we do. We have two more Reavers coming up here. It looks like he's going to go for the main once again uh, in the top left. Let's see if he can get some good Scarabs here. Really nice spreading from the... Oh, the Hydra's picking off... This uh, shuttle very, very quickly. That shuttle is so low now. Good juggling here. Keeping that one Reaver alive. Some Overlords are going to go down now. The Corsairs are going to back up here. Reaver's going to start to pick away at these hatcheries. Two hatcheries here are very important to keep alive. 
He will be able to bring up a lot of Hydras right now. Can he juggle these backwards? The Reavers are getting pretty low here. Good targeting and splitting by a, a Promise. Promise going to take out all of this attack and he wasn't able to destroy the hatchery so i think this is a big win here for promise even gonna be dropping over here getting another base online this is really looking good for him now it's uh it's hard to deal with it's hard, very very hard to deal with this play what sock uh yeah what sock is doing right now so i'm getting the names mixed up what sock is doing right now is hard to deal with but if you shut it down the first time that it comes out it becomes so much easier. It's a real tempo play. And I just don't think that that was the, that was the move there for Sonic. Going for the main up here seemed not to be the right call. I really think you want to get control over one of these entrances. If you can control one of the entrances, then you can start to destroy... You can start to destroy their uh, their army as it moves forward. Reaver here, a drop going to come down on top of these cannons. Prevent the army from getting through those tight little chokes. And you should be able to win the game, but not going to allow it to happen. Oh, great splitting here. Really great splitting. And another shuttle going to come in, but it just cannot land. And we're not going to see a fourth base here for Sock. I don't think he really needs a fourth. You know, he's got a lot of money right now. I think what he really needs to do is deal some damage, but if we stop here and start fighting at this choke, we can kill these assimilators. It makes it uh, actually impossible to defend uh, if you don't have drop, which he does have that drop now. So he can start to defend these types of plays, but man, is it ever hard to drop against Reavers just blasting away at your Hydras as they come out of the Overlords. Very, very scary. Looks like we're gonna have maybe a drop over here. This is not well defended. We don't have a Reaver there or anything. Maybe he can get in there and stop that. Pylon's coming down. He can't actually build a Nexus right now because of the Zergling, the Burrowed Ling right there being super, super annoying. Zealots are going to try to pick that off. Oh, the drop in the back here right now. Going to actually pick off all of these cannons. He drops a couple of Disruption Webs. Some of these Reavers are going to be juggled here. Good picking off the sniping of the Reavers. But it appears that this base will remain. The guys are going to get picked off here. Drops are being loaded up once again, I'm sure. He would love to prevent this from occurring. You do not want to allow that to go down. That stupid Ling being so annoying right now. Preventing Promise from having... Uh, it, preventing Sock from having another base, excuse me, helping Promise stay ahead in the lead when it comes to his uh, overall economy. Oh boy, if he actually flies into that, that's going to be so, so bad. I guess a lot of these are actually Lings, hey? Okay, these ones are Lings. There's the Ling right there. This is just one pair of Lings. So most of that is Hydras. If he flies over this, man, it could just be game over. We're going into Carrier. Oh my god, Sock, what are you doing? Promise is not a slouch, man. You've seen him play. He's 400 APM right now. He is like an ACS quality level player. Despite not being a Zerg, he will still mess you up if you try to do some cheeky crap like this. Going for carrier right now is actually insane. Gonna have some drops coming in here over to the center right. He wants to prevent that. Sock gonna have to react immediately to this. Start to bring those Reavers over to assist. That's a lot. That is a lot of Hydras though. The major or uh, disruption web coming down here. Doing a pretty good job so far of stopping the Hydras from actually attacking. It's like the Nexus may end up going down. He's targeting down some of these Reavers. Great Reaver Scarab there. Able to deal great damage. Prevent these Hydras from picking off the base. He will be able to save this in the end. Reavers a little bit too strong. This trap still set here. Yet to be sprung by Sock. 
more and more reavers popping out right now but carrier production has begun oh my god okay <laughs> well five carriers are already done here guys so i guess i spoke a little bit too late there carrier production is far beyond done uh started it's like mostly done already five carriers where are these gonna go what where are we gonna take these up to the top left we do have a spire finally so at least there's that. Spire is very important to uh, combat this type of play. You need to bring out Scourge here. I believe it's like six Scourge kills a, a carrier. It might be you know, one or two more, one or two less. I can't remember exactly. I think it's five or six to kill a carrier. Uh, I don't know if armor comes into play in that equation, but uh, I assume that it would. Flying around it. The left hand side of the map now he's on the enemy side of the map he's got to find a place to land these reavers without losing them all here in this next engagement oh the scourge coming forward they get annihilated holy crap plus two on corsair is so insane this attack is infuriating right now it's so hard to deal with something like this with just pure Hydra, it is almost impossible. He's going to try to run forward here, getting on top of the uh, Reavers. Finally, some of the D-Matrix, the disruption, not D-Matrix, disruption webs run out. And with that, he will be able to force things back. But there's the hatchery going to be targeted down now. He's actually going to target the assimilator, in fact. Going after the assimilator. Right oh, what the probes? What are these probes doing over here? Well, this is confusing. I'm really not sure what the probes are doing right now. Um, he's only able to kill one of the two assimilators. Going to load back up. Maybe try to come back over here again. Not really sure. Leaves one shuttle over here. And sends the rest home with all of the Corsairs. This shuttle going to fly into the main. Try to get some more damage here. Might be able to get a big round of scarabs on this huge clump of drones let's see if he can get one more good shot is he gonna be able to get it no not quite able to get it there one more shot it will not go over top of the mineral fields and will dud out one more shot oh there it is that's the big shot man that's the money shot right there Woo! damn that's a huge huge hit i guess some of the probes are just being sent out to die Look at this. Oh my god. What am I looking at, guys? This is this is Terran. This is Terran playing Protoss right now. He's like, you know what? Carriers are good. This is what I'm thinking. We just play carrier in this matchup. Not a Protoss player whatsoever. He's probably going to get broken here in the natural unless he brings all the carriers and the reavers to bear. That's a lot of hydras, man. Where are the defilers right now? We actually need defiler. Defiler kind of missing from the army at the moment. Um, but carriers, I mean, they do a lot of damage, but they're not great at fighting hydras. Hydras are pretty good at killing off interceptors interceptors um like hydras are like the a better version of goliaths when it comes to fighting carriers they deal a little bit less damage but they're way more consistent oh just barely able to keep the carriers alive here from this flock of scourge coming in and he will be able to secure this base it looks like getting some uh, another a new forge she needs a new forge doesn't have any it doesn't have a forge right now it's a little bit um it's a little bit silly not having a forge here i think that actually you abandon the natural why not just abandon the natural kill the assimilators um i feel like that would be the play uh we can always rebuild these uh robotics can't we uh or just kill all the hydras that's also maybe the play not a bad idea not a bad idea during all this, we're getting pretty huge as the Zerg, man. The Zerg is getting pretty darn massive. So, I don't know if we're going to be able to to fight this Zerg. He's got so much money. Yeah, it's kind of insane right now. We've got this gas. Oh, we haven't started mining this gas. That might be a problem 
uh, a little bit later, actually. A lot of Hydras are going to try and drop on this base, but that is so many cannons and reavers, man. Holy crap. I don't think he can do this. I'm going to throw down a disruption web here. Maybe another one? Okay, maybe he can do this? Well, uh, then the carriers show up, so I guess he can't do this. Oh boy, here comes a lot of Scourge. Really great connections with the Corsairs and all the Scourge die without hitting even one time on these carriers. Are you kidding me? That is ridiculous. I think all that, uh, all that Sock really need do now is saturate this base and work his way down to the bottom right and start to take that over. Uh, if he gets that base down there, I don't know how... Promise can bring this one back, guys. I really don't. Also, take out these assimilators, man. What are you doing? Kill the assimilators. That's just uh, asking to get broken here. Yeah, he will finally kill the assimilators. Those things die so fast at this number of carriers, especially with plus two or maybe even plus three at this point. Yeah, plus three. It is crazy how fast these are going to die. Look at that. So, a little bit crazy that he wasn't trying to do that before now there's quite a few mutas popping out what a few mutas indeed however the plus three corsairs are not to be messed with they've even got plus two plasma shields here that is craziness where are the okay there's the plague coming in finally like the defiler tech is so late it is insan it's it's just insanity the fact that this hasn't been in the game yet is really crazy to me this is really the ultimate counter to carrier is you just plague them and then throw down dark swarm on hydras and they can't push they can't push through it it's really really hard um you can of course drop reavers under dark swarm and it's really nasty like <laughs> reavers just won't die ever under dark swarm they are just invincible basically um you have to send in like a million links to kill them but now we're losing bases here. Is Sock actually going to do this with pure carrier, man? I thought I was the only one who ever lost to this type of play, but I guess Sock's showing that he can be even done at the highest level, like 2,500 MMR. You can still do carrier versus Zerg and make it work. He's moving in towards the bottom left now. That is the main base and the location of all the tech, of course. Double Spire being produced here in the main. That's probably not going to live for too long. This is the first play going down, but it's a bit too late. I've felt this feeling before where you're like, well, that would be nice if I had a Dark Swarm right here. Maybe I could hold on, but here we go. Finally, a Dark Swarm going to come down. At least he might be able to save his main. Yeah, the, I mean, he's been trying to get that Dark Swarm for a while, it looks like. Not able to get it there. Pretty annoying. Uh, base is going to come up down in the bottom right now. He's going to try to get some of those online. There's not a lot of mining right now for Sock. But the carrier force cannot be denied right now. The only thing it can be denied by, denied by is Dark Swarm. Dark Swarms are going to be the antithesis of the carrier. The mortal enemy here. Of the carrier swarm. GG is called. Are you kidding me? He finally taps out. Promise loses versus Carrier here. Both players playing off race, yes. Sock playing Protoss. Promise off of his Protoss playing Zerg. Gets taken out by Carrier. I guess that's just what happens when you're a Protoss player and you don't fully understand your own matchup. Protoss versus Zerg. I mean, maybe maybe Promise never goes for, uh, you know, Reverse Sair into Carrier, right? I mean, that's a possibility, right? Maybe he's never never even tried this build before, and you know, he thought that uh, he didn't need Defiler or a Zerg player doesn't need Defiler to beat that. But yes, you do need Defiler, man. You certainly need Defiler. Just think about it. Imagine. If when that first carrier army came through this direction, you know, he did that play where he had, he did the drop down here. He bought some time for himself. Just imagine if he had defilers over here. He pops a dark swarm, you know, a couple of dark swarms here with a bunch of hydras underneath them. 
and then you, you know, drop a plague on all these, things get a lot easier. A plague on all the Corsairs can be a really big uh, deal as well. You get your, your Spire, get your Greater Spire. Grab some Devourers as well. You do have to target them because if they target the, the Interceptors, it does nothing. But if you target the Corsairs, then at least it slows their attack. And then you can overwhelm with Mutus uh, and Scourge. But man, the upgrades are just ridiculous. Look at those ups, man. Three... Two, two. These things will never die, and their DPS is like a, like literally what it is. It's a laser beam. They have a laser beam that just cuts through these uh, scourge and mutas like paper, guys. It's crazy how much damage these things do when they're this highly upgraded. But that is a crazy, crazy game. I guess I'll put this up on the channel. I was thinking it. It would probably be something insane, but I wasn't expecting a uh, Reaver uh, Sare into Carrier. It's always fun to watch, guys. I have played a lot of this on the channel, uh, on the Twitch stream. If you want to come check it out sometime, twitch.tv slash But Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.